Hey everyone, okay, so this is a video I promised. For those that are on Amazon already selling product, or if you are creating your listing, uh, this is something that's really important. It's called your backend. Now, whenever I talk about your backend keywords, it's the stuff that nobody sees. It's, it's, it's actually called something different on different listings, but it's typically called keyword research or search terms, whatever it is. Um, it should always, it should never be more than 250 characters. Again, never more than 250 characters. It's not a preference. It's a hard and fast rule by Amazon. If it's greater than 250 characters, it just gets ignored, anything above that. So if your top keywords at 256 characters to 300 characters, you're not going to even be indexed for those keywords. So yeah, that's super huge. Uh, make sure it stays at 250. But I'm going to show you how to do a quick analysis of it or a quick way to find them. And uh, I'll try to explain the logic as I go along. So, all right, back in search, let's go. Um, so say I'm selling a, um, now you already know what your keywords are because you wouldn't have sourced your product unless you knew uh, what your top keywords are. But let's say you're already on Amazon and you know, you just, just, just you know, I'll follow you through the process. Say, so I'm gonna do a dog nail clippers, okay? I'm gonna take that keyword. The first thing I'm gonna do is you know, that's my natural keyword. I don't know if that's a top keyword or not. It's just something I'm looking for. But no matter what keyword, and most natural keywords are gonna have some top sellers in it. So you're gonna pull down your Jungle Scout extension. And the first thing I do is just look for the highest seller. And this particular person sold 197,000 on average in a month. So he's obviously gonna be a top seller. And again, why I always look at top sellers is because they'll have the most keywords uh, for that product. Now, here's just here's a here's a good way to illustrate that. So, if you if you ever took if you did this reverse analysis or the three bill analysis on the top seller and you did it on the lowest seller, you should do it sometime, and you'll see that the keywords are drastically different because the low seller isn't gonna it, it's the three bill search is gonna show him ranked for any keywords because he's not selling a whole lot of stuff or it's not ranked for a lot of stuff versus. The top seller, the reason he's selling so much is because he's ranked for so many keywords. So you always want to go off the top seller because they're going to have the most keywords. Now, whether you're the top seller or the lowest seller, keyword, you know, dog nail clipper, uh, uh, you know, is going to have the same amount of searches, but the lower seller may not be ranked for that. So it won't be on that listing. So you always want to go after the top seller. Uh, and in this case, it's this person. You want to uh, go right for their ASIN. And once you get that, you want to put that into Amazon Rank Booster or Cerebro, which I've already done here to make life easier, but we're going to do it right from scratch because I want you to see it perfectly. And so it'll pop up with all the, these are all, so these are all the phrases that this particular product is uh, ranking for and each phrase has a uh, exact phrase volume and again whether this if 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 i just started selling on amazon and i had a nail clipper and i happen to be ranked for this product awesome it would still show the exact it would still show the same search volume keywords keyword search volumes are what they are regardless of what product is ranking for them so so yeah in this case though you always want to take the top uh, seller and you want to search uh, search by exact phrase volume then I, I'll scroll down. Like I always like to, to track and monitor the top 50 because 50 is a good number and uh, 50 keywords. So when, when I, what, what I'll do basically is I'll, uh, when I, I showed you in the previous video how to uh, put quickly and track your keywords that you're ranking for. And I usually take 50 or 60 keywords. And the reason is, is the majority of your searches are going to be in those top 50 key phrases. So, so yeah, so I'll go to, I'll go down to 50 and I'll say, okay, exact phrase volume is 413. So to make life simple, I'll go here where it says exact and I'll just put 413. Oh, 413. Because I want this to limit this search to 50. And then what I do is I'll go and just clean it up a little, like no way out. That's not necessarily just exit out. Um, let me see the thick of it. I know some of the stuff's weird. It is what it is. I mean, it's just, there's some weird data that shows up. Um, bleeding steel. I don't know what that is. You are enough. I don't know what that doesn't mean. That doesn't really relevant. So you pick out some relevance. You just exit out. You X, you click on X to X them out, which gets them off the list. 
dog note, quick stop. I don't know what that is. That doesn't seem to make sense. Uh, it comes at, I don't know, kind of doesn't make sense either. Um, so it's pretty cleaned up. Now you got, uh, you still, you, you, you lost about four or five, but it really doesn't matter. Again, it's still, if you look at how quickly the search volumes go down after you get to like 20, um, and, and so this is just, this is going to be the most. So basically you then, you now have this list. You then go to export and you send it to Frankenstein. Now, if you have a free version, I don't think you can do this, but, um, you, you know, you kind of need to do this if you ever, if you, you need to have a full version, if you're going to do this, so you basically click to Frankenstein and all your search terms are going to come up here and you're going to make sure add only spaces, remove duplicates, convert to lower case. Um, we're going to, uh, remove common words because we're not going to try to rank for and the, if whatever, um, and then special characters that are removed. Then you click process. And in this case, it, it you can see there's a dog nail file dog nail. There's not a ton of keywords in here. Um, in the top 50 to a point where this would be your back end. And it's only 172 characters. Now, Amazon allows for 250. So what I would do in this case, because I'm not going to just stop at 170. I want to use most of the time when you do top 50, you're going to get a heck of a lot more than this. But there's so many of the same words. So and this is a good example. Now, in this case, I would go now I'm going to go deeper. I'm going to say, well, we did top 50. Let's go because I want I want to I, I want to use all 250 characters. I'm not going to just cut myself short. So I'm going to go deeper. And so I'll go back to Cerebro and I'll, you know, get rid of the, the minimum again and I'll go back and I will, maybe I go to the top 150 and, um, and we'll see. Okay. That's kind of deep. Let's go to top 100 and we'll say 159. Cause I, honestly, anything at 100, 200 is not even relevant. Um, but let's, let's just say, we'll say 150. We'll say, so we'll go up here and say the exact searches per month, minimum of 150, click apply. And you can clean it up, but for the sake of this conversation, we'll say I clean this up. We then kick again, click to uh, Frankenstein. And we go back to remove common words, that, that, and we'll click process. And now you have 389 characters. So now that's good. You have more than you need. So now I, instead of having, I would have cleaned up that other sheet. And I think a, a few more of these would have been gone. But so now I look at, I go through and look at these words and now I got to get it to 250. So, um, you know, you're going to look through this. Now. I don't know what BA is. So you're going to clean that up. You're going to get rid of that. Don't, you're not going to want to rank for don't. So you're going to get rid of that. Um, I don't know what, what what boo shell is i don't know on a high you're not gonna run you're not gonna big and, and there's not really key you know good ranking terms um heavy duty maybe guillotine deals you don't want to you know that's not something that you're gonna rank for warehouse is not something you're gonna rank for um this is obviously a spanish term or something like that we're not going to rank for that um so you keep you, you keep getting these down i don't know la blades, maybe time, fooled, all these words. So you clean this up and you end up getting it to uh, uh, 250. I'm just going to, you guys are going to bear with me. I want to get this done so you can see what I'm doing. And you click add, order, you know, just keep getting rid of these. Um, home, you, you can choose to get rid of, keep whatever, but whatever you do, just get it to 250. So anyways, we'll, we'll say this is the 250. Once it gets to 250, Literally, I copy this and put it into my back end. And um, yeah, and so that's the key. And a back end again is for um, the search terms or keywords that are in Cell Central. No one sees it, but you, you except for it's how you get indexed. Now, what I would do is if you already have a back end or you are, uh, you know, just you, you, you kind of want to see what it looks like against yours. Go ahead and put these two in a Word doc, or actually you could just use, um, you know, what I'll do sometimes is, you know, I'll just use scribbles and um, I'll put, 
Scribbles is used for something different, but I'll use Scribble. I'll put my this this new back end here, and then I'll bring in my old back end, and I'll compare them, and I'll just clean them up, I'll merge them or whatever. But I will tell you that the back end that I just showed you that you shouldn't you shouldn't make major changes to that except some of these goofy words because this is going to reflect. This is a hundred of the top keywords for your product based on the, the most successful seller. Those are the keywords that are ranking that person. So keep it pure. Uh, keep it no more than 250 characters. And there you go. I mean, that's a quick, that was a 10 minute video. I probably could have done it in three minutes, but I wanted to explain why I did what I did. So hopefully that helps. If not, shoot me a Voxer or Evernote. If you want, uh, if you want me to look at your back end and you know, if you do want me to do that, send me your ASIN um, and send me your back end. I don't want to do it for you guys. This is what I'm kind of doing this video. But if you're really concerned about it, because this is important, this is probably one of the most important things you do. Um, all I can tell you, though, if right now you have more than 250 characters in your back end, you need to do this immediately because you're wasting time. I don't know what keywords you're losing out on, but you need to do this immediately. And I do put this all on one line. I know there are five lines or you can add five lines. I put all 250 characters on one line. Anyways, hope this helps. Uh, thanks again for listening. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye.